Hey there, Angel of Galaxy, back with some more channeled messages. I do hope you're all doing well. Um, just want to say a very, very big thank you as always to each and every one of you. Keep clicking on my channel. Um, those who have subscribed, liked, shared, comment, of all those things that can help lift the algorithms. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessings sent back to you tenfold. Thank you. All right. So remember to subscribe is free, guys. And like, of course. <laughs> so, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you know when I've got more content out. Right, so just remember spirit works for us in mystical and mysterious ways. These messages may not go directly to the intended person. They may be talking about someone you know. It could be a lo their love lost one or a situation around you or them. Remember, we have both aspects of the divine feminine and masculine, so please take it as it resonates. Just think about this, you just may be this heavenly post person delivering communication where it needs to go. It's so very important. Right. And we also have a rule that, you know, souls can piggyback, your loved ones can piggyback on one particular message. It may be just a line, it may be an incident, you know, that's very similar to yours. It doesn't mean to say that your loved one's not edging in there to give you maybe a, a name, you know, even if everything else doesn't make sense. But there is something there and you feel it within you go and you've clicked on this channel. Then it could likely be that this there's something in that message for you. So a message within a message. Right. <laughs> Let's go, shall we? OK. So I'm hearing. Hmm. It was March. And I was feeling so much better than I had in years. Unfortunately, this soul thought they were getting better. But it wasn't the case. And unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse. I've been told by November, this individual had crossed over the veil. They want you to know that this Life on the other side is so different to our earthly experience. Well, I think we'd realise that, but um, it's nice to get feedback. <laughs> so, I got to leave my pride behind, shed the body which caused me so much pain for nearly 20 years. It's so freeing. Well, this soul just wants to apologise for some of the hurtful things that were said. The pain was driving them crazy. It didn't let up. And I took it out on those close to me. Not good. <clears throat> okay. All right. And I'm hearing Gillian. <clears throat> I don't know whether that's you or her. Alright, that's just a quick one. Next, please. So this loved one wants to say that nobody is perfect. He says we don't all have the same personalities or the same way of looking at things. It is also true on the other side. But what we have is perspective. That we are all here to love one another all part of God's source. There is no one, no, here there is no one valuable than anyone else. So I don't know who needs to hear that. Mm. So I'm hearing someone around you thinks you're horrible because of your beliefs and feel they are always so right, that they shun you Saying on the other side, we understand that all is forgiven and it is not up to us to judge others. Ken wants his daughter to stand strong, to be proud of beliefs. Don't let others dictate how you feel and think. I've got Ken or Daddy. Okay, lovely, thank you. Just a short one. Okay, next. So Sharon is wanting to say hi to all the loved ones she has left behind. She sees Granny Frances on the other side. Also the lady who had the small sweet shop in town. Oh, 
I feel this lady may have been a teacher. The only reason I'm saying that is because, you know, there's a chalkboard and I'm seeing maths equations. Mm. I've got the names Leslie and Diane. Dianti? Dianti? Mm. October would be relevant and Friday comes to mind with this message. She's telling me she's a little bit worried about her cousin's state of mind and asked the family to help her where they can. Leona may be relevant to this message too. Okay, thank you. Next. Okay, trigger warning. I'm hearing hepatitis B, the liver. Mm. This mother's saying, her son is confused and he's wondering if the bird he's seen is her sending signals. And the answer is yes. She's so happy that you've, you're thinking of it. Mm. She says she always loved Robbins and he knew that. In a way it was the easiest way for me to say I'm here and thinking about you cheering you on and sending her love to you. Mm. You know, it's normally the bird who is pretty close to you. You know, that one that sticks around longer than normal. Mm. And if that doesn't work and you don't really see that, then what does is robins everywhere. <laughs> mm. She says she's not the robin. But you will think of me as it was my favourite bird. And I'm here in Evelyn. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so my signs and synchronicities today. It was quite funny this one to be fair, but as I said to you before, it could be just a piece of paper on the floor. It could be a wrapping, it could be anything. I just know because it's highlighted. It means it feels relevant. But um, anyway, so my first sign today was a 3D plastic figure, it, like a, a little young lady in her underwear. And it was on the pavement. Mm, I smiled to myself because I thought it was funny. So well, I'm thinking the loved one that's bringing this message would have been a clothes model. Mm. She would have had brunette hair down to her shoulder blades. And what was funny was just by the side of that, as I looked round, was this clothes hanger belonging to this children's set. So we had the figure and the clothes hanger. Mm. <laughs> so no doubt it was part of a book which had garments. You know, the ones that you could stick the clothes on to the figure. Mm. A little later on, I noticed a couple of boxes left out for collection. St and it stated Ralph Lauren. So there's a bit of a theme, I feel, you know, after the 3D sticker. Mm. It didn't fill me with hope, but hey. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I then looked up. And right at the bottom of the van was Prada. <laughs> it's like just written across it, Prada contract. <laughs> so Prada again, designer. And that was a service vehicle. So she may have modelled or liked this brand. And then I took a right turn and parked up was another van with collect clothes on it. I also felt drawn to a Hessian bag nearby which stated good things happen every time you shop. And this is true in my case. <laughs> okay, so who's coming in? Okay, so I have a lovely lady coming in here. She wants to say she was very pleased with the action. The auction, sorry, she's correcting me. Of her clothes, shoes and handbags. And how the money was dis distribu dis distributed, sorry I can't speak today, to different charities. It made her so happy 
and loved the fact that she mm, could see just how it affected other people in the environment, you know, people in need, and how happy it made them. Really, in October may have been a passing date for this particular individual. Mm. I'm asking her about how she went. She doesn't really want to talk about this. Okay, a lot of them don't. She would have had a really lovely voice, well spoken. And the names with this are Darcy, Elise. I've got the initials N and A, F and F, W and C, B and F. Emilia, F and C, A and N, B and C, A and B, T and C, F and F, 65, the number 65, 11, 5 and 6, again could be door numbers, these are, could be people in the environment, people watching, um, you know, family members, so take them as they resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Mm. My next message. So this is for someone, oh, this is a bit different. Wish you were here. So you think you can tell heaven or from hell. Okay. Blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail? This is not Pink Floyd, I think. A smile from a veil. Hmm. Do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade? Ooh, okay. Your heroes from ghost or ashes from trees or air or cool breeze call comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the war for a lead role in a cage? How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year running over the same old ground what have we found the same old fears wish you were here okay that's a little bit different so i think that's by pink floyd is that a song all right so i've got okay so i've got max and lenny want to say hi oh now it's making sense so i'm told you would only know it was true if i mentioned this this will be the proof you've asked for. Okay, thank you very much. Let me know if that was for you. That's interesting. A bit different. <laughs> All right. My next channeling. Hmm. So my next channeling is for someone that is talking about how they send a shiver down your spine. This will be when they're near you. She's telling me that... Hmm. It's a lack of understanding that is making you afraid rather than the paranormal event even. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she's telling me she understands that you become startled by the sudden noise or vision. Or even when she moves an object, that this defies the law of physics. She wants you to try to tune in to accept her unseen energy and know it's her it's important you know because if you don't invite them then you know they, they, they will stop trying after a while until they feel that it can happen again so if you're eager to get in touch with your loved ones you know mm, saying the more you experience the less you will fear no more monsters under the bed scenario just said we'd put on the light to see. It is time for the light of understanding. Mm. Mm. So you've asked to see me or get a message. Only unless you open up to the fact that I'm trying to communicate with you. It is difficult. <laughs> I'm trying to make this great big statement, a big entrance, but sadly it falls on deaf ears are under the covers. You know, it's maybe a good idea to think about what is a little bit unusual in your house. For instance, maybe flickering lights in the room. Or sometimes, you know, light bulbs that burn out easily and instantly. I know I've spoken about that before. It's because more often than not, these lights are affected 
when he spends a lot of time around you or when he thinks it will be great to get your attention. Mm. So I'm hearing Penny. I feel this was maybe, I may be wrong, you know, it's different in, in, in different, mm, a same-sex partnership. Or you were just extremely close. Mm. So I could have light jazz, because I feel that tickling away in the background, you know, light jazz music. Might not be, but it could be relevant. And I'm also hearing Elaine and Josh. Mm. Kathy. Susie. Titan. Tiara. Shay. Shay, I think, yeah. Okay, so I've seen like the, the moon in my mind's eye. Mm. Maybe you're into moon manifestations, may not be. Or oh, there's just something that is going to come to light. Uh, so she's telling me the winds of change are swirling energetically, of course. <laughs> and it's time for forgiveness. Yes, we argued and shouted, but we always made up. And just because I'm over here will not stop me from apologising. All right. Heaven and earth are not far apart. I hear this really lovely giggling. <laughs> Love never dies. She wants you to stop those maudlin thoughts and embrace whatever time you have left to live. They like to give that message, you know. I think they realise once they're crossed to the other side, although they may be at peace and settled, it's not like being in a body. That's why we keep coming back. <laughs> Live every day as it's your last, she's saying, and switch up that beautiful face with a radiant smile. It's time to go for a promotion. So stop procrastinating, girl. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with that if you decide to. So what is it that you, you most need to forgive? How will forgiving me change things for you, ask? If you can forgive and move on, focus on the positives. When it comes to this situation in the future, how will things change for you? That's a good one to ask. A few things are more important than a positive push. A smile, a world of optimism and hope. Mm, you can do it when things are tough. Mm. Not sure what Tilly means, but um, mm, Tilly. I'm hearing don't dilly dally. That might make some sense to somebody. Love always and forever. Okay. Anything else with this? So, okay, so I have a song now, so it could be a line, a chorus, a verse, it might be just the name, maybe you like the artist, mm. the year, you know, it could go on, whatever, like, you know, sometimes, you know, when you first meet somebody, say if you met them in a, in a club or something like that, they may have had um, it playing and it's just always a song that you always think about some people have them in at their weddings but anyway let's go shall we so it's got let me entertain you so acknowledging the hell remember I'm working with the lyrics here you felt after his passing and now it is gone he is in heaven so there's nothing left for you to fear he's here and he's at rest. It is peaceful. It is beyond amazing. So this loved one would have loved... Okay, <laughs> your bottom. And may have playfully asked you to shake your backside like the song. Then come on over here. Mm. You were 
not a mature couple at the time of his crossing. Mm. There could have been some screaming at the time that you were now a burning effigy of everything you used to be as your rock of empathy was no longer with you. A feeling of happiness as you stayed alone for a long time but now he says all is not lost and glad you realise that you were never too old to start again in any area of your life. It's a memory of having a, a grab yourself an alibi. Only he says heaven knows your mother lied so something must have gone on recently where you had to defend yourself. Give evidence even as he's asking you to separate your rights from wrongs. Come and sing a different song. The kettle's on so don't be long. So I guarantee that he sits with you when you're having a chat and a cup of tea or coffee or whatever your beverage is. Green tea. <laughs> I'll see your window. Mm. So he may be say, seated nearer that side of the room, okay? You'll know. So the song says, look me up in yellow pages. I will be your rock of ages. You'll see through fads and crazy phases. So this go-to resource was around five decades it was out in the yellow pages but in 2019 it stopped trading so this could give you ideas and dates little bo peep has lost her sheep he popped a pill and fell asleep the dew is wet but the grass is sweet my dear i hear a click which for me means gone quickly sorry it's so sad heartbreaking so I'm told that you would not have known he was capable of this. He says this behaviour was erratic at times, only strangely calm as well, just before he decided to move over to the other side. Trigger warning, I'm so sorry. I should have said that earlier. So your mind gets burned with the habits you've learned, so tired of it all and didn't want to end up like his mother and father. But he wants you to know he loved you and he's sorry for the hurt and pain he has put you through. He's seen you do well, the occasional breakdown, but after these, all these years, you're in a good place and that makes him extremely happy. He's good. He may be out of sight, but he can be with you if you need him, so holler and he'll be right by your side. I'm told there is someone in your miss who wants to entertain you. Let them entertain you. He's saying, remember, life's too short for all to give up. So get that thought right out of your pretty little head. Mm. So you gotta get high before you taste the lows. So ready for the next relationship. He's wanting you to be aware that it will be pretty damn good. Only remember that nothing is perfect. But he can see this romance heading in the right direction if you choose to go down that route. That could be different for other people. Okay, You might already be in this relationship and he's saying it's going to get better if it's not been too good. Mm. I would have thought this guy was fair haired. To light brown hair, maybe. He liked to dress casual. I'm seeing glasses, but may not have had to wear them all the time. He would have liked crime dramas and football. He may have just watched it rather than played, I don't know. A moderate temper. The names I've got with this, take them as a resonant and leave the rest for someone else to enjoy. Remember there could be people watching, people on the other side. Your family members. Mm. You. So it could be Ryan. Could be Ryan. Ryan, sorry I'm hearing. Ellen. Doug. Glenna. Guy. Peter. Robert. And Anthony. With that one. Thank you. 
Well, maybe we'll go for Robbie because it's sung by Robbie Williams, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> right. Right. I think that's. Hmm. Might be it, that one. Okay. Alright, let's do a card read, shall we? <coughs> Remember, I'd never have too much time with this, so please bear with me. Right, so we have a Wands card to start with. Alright. Mm -hmm. 